Hey guys, John 9, 5 says, While I am in the world, I am the light of the world. Well, we know that Jesus came to this earth as flesh. He was born of a virgin. And he came to this world to be the example that we need to live by. He came to die for your sins. On the cross, he shed his blood for you. He ascended into heaven. So that's not, that doesn't mean that God is not still in this world because he is. He was in this world even before Jesus came as, as, as flesh. The Holy Spirit, Jesus sent the Holy Spirit to live in every believer. So we went to a Big Daddy Weave concert the other day, and which was amazing, by the way. So amazing. But I'm not going to lie to you. I'm just going to be real with you for a moment, okay? So the last few weeks, I have just felt um, just overcome with darkness, overcome with with the evil of the world, uh, overcome with things being forced upon you and just angry, even though I know the end of the story. I know what God says. I know he is the victor. We are victors in Christ. I know that. But when Big Daddy Weave, he was up there talking, and uh, by the way, if you have not heard his concert, it's amazing on its own, but also the Lord is really using his him as a ministry to, as he witnesses to people, it's just so awesome. But like he said, I don't believe there's anybody in this world at this point in time in history that does not feel the heaviness of the darkness. And uh, with that being said, you know, what expels the darkness? Light. And Jesus says, while I am in the world, I am the light of the world. Christians, Lisa Pingle, God is in this world. And when the light shines, there is no darkness. So I've been feeling sorry for myself and, you know, just being all blah and, and all this good stuff and letting it come out of my mouth, which is just awful. Get up, dust yourself off, and know that the Holy Spirit, who is God, lives inside you. Jesus, God, the Holy Spirit lives in this world because they live through us. Well, they're God. They can come on down anyway. But, but being the thing is... The Holy Spirit lives in you. So no matter what, no matter when the darkness comes and the darkness is here, it's very real. The light is more real. The light is brighter, shines brighter, more beautiful, and it overcomes the darkness. So uh, just, just think about that. I'm going to read John 9, 5 again. While I am in the world... I am the light of the world. The Holy Spirit living in me is the light of the world. The light of the world that lives in you. The Holy Spirit that lives in you in your darkness. And I'm talking to people who don't think that there are there's any light at all that fills that darkness so thick, so heavy. If the children of Israel had not had the presence of the Lord going before and behind them, they wouldn't have seen. The darkness was so thick. They could not even, not even, it was so thick. It was so heavy. They couldn't even see in front of them at all. We have that light in us all the time. The light is always there. And if you hear that beautiful voice in the background calling Grandma, there she is. There's my Ashka. See, there's light. I love you. Ashka loves you. God loves you. Have a great day and just know when you're in that darkness, the Holy Spirit lives in you, is bright. Let it shine. Love you. Have a great day.